These men are working with a natural essence that's almost as valuable as gold. The flowers of the saffron plant are harvested only once a year, in October, from the plateaus near Pampur and Karewas. Their stigmas are sorted by hand before being meticulously pulled apart and removed of all impurities. It takes the red or gold colored stigmas of 75,000 flowers to obtain 500 grams of saffron, making it one of the most treasured and expensive spices in the world. The powder from these flowers is also used as a pharmaceutical product, as a fabric dye, or simply to mark the forehead. On pleasant days, it's not unusual to see Kashmiris in one of the numerous Mughal gardens enjoying a tea ceremony. Prepared in a samovar, Kashmiri tea is a delicious mix of spices, such as cardamom and cinnamon and tea leaves. This thirst-quenching drink is drunk very hot and without milk, and is often accompanied by peeled almonds. Inside the copper and hammered brass samovar is a small metal receptacle containing hot coals. Tea leaves from Darjeeling are added to the boiling water. Then whole pieces of cinnamon. And finally the peppery tasting cardamom seeds. Used for brewing tea or warming one's soul, decorated or not depending on its owner's wealth, the samovar is an important part of a young woman's trousseau and often a proud possession of the family. Rising up behind Lake Nagin, on a small hill, is the Hari Parbat Fort. This historical fortress was built in 1812 by Atta Mohammed Khan. It was constructed inside an impressive nine-meter-thick wall erected 300 years earlier by the Mughal emperor Akbar, who ordered its construction in order to give work to his starving subjects. The Kashmiri farmers spend endless hours pulling valuable algae from lakes and piling it on rafts and old boats. These freshwater plants will provide rich fertilizer for numerous gardens as they decompose. These floating houses are unique to the Kashmir Valley. Hundreds of them are moored along the tranquil shores, shaded by willow and poplar trees, or again anchored among pools of lotus or in small peaceful canals. These houseboats were the idea of the British, who so loved this beautiful valley. As ownership of land was forbidden to all foreigners by the Maharaja, the British came up with this compromise that has since been adopted by generations of Kashmiris. The houseboats are made of fragrant cedar wood, floated down the waterways from the jungle. Comfortable and often lavishly decorated, this houseboat has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a living area and a dining room. The bedrooms and living areas are adorned with richly sculpted wooden furniture and comfortable sofas. The ceilings of these homes are veritable masterpieces. Made of overlapping segments of wood, an ancient Kashmiri technique known as katamband. A covered terrace often opens out onto the mirror-like waters of the lakes and 